Oh man. Good morning, Ada Rex. It is going to be a big day in the field. I hope you're ready, guys. It's going to be a fun day. Finally get to put this thing to its true limits. No longer hooked up to a grain cart. Going to put a root slicer or a stumper on it. Let's spend the day. There is always at least one person who comments, why didn't you show you checking the oil? Don't you check oil before driving tractors? Ooh, I don't want to drip any on it. Look at that. Perfectly fine. Don't worry. Got plenty of oil. Grant would like everyone to notice um, how clean his pickup is. He spent a long time scrubbing this last night. So if everyone could just appreciate his hard work, that would be nice. <laughs> Another thing Grant would like people to notice is that now that harvest is over, it is time for snowmobiles. So if anyone has any junky old snowmobiles from like mm, mid 70s to mid 80s, Oh, never mind. Grant says he's done with that. What do we want now? I'm looking like like mid to late 90s to mid 2000s. Like, but still at least 25 years old. I, like, the beginning of fuel injection. Like I, I don't want to work on them. I just want to ride them, blow them up, put them in the trees, and buy another one. Oh, my goodness. I've already got like... <laughs> There's one blown up up there. Uh, so. so if anyone has any snowmobiles that fit that or description. If they want to re here, just come up here. Okay. One second. Scary up here. Has had the people been up here before? I don't think so. The so snowmobile is, vault. This is the vault of snowmobiles. Uh this is kind of the little upstairs room. This is Grant's got his signs hung up here. And the snowmobile collection. So that burr meow or articat. <laughs> I uh, wrapped that one around a telephone pole last year. I don't remember the yellow one. Where did so the yellow? I just I, I rode it one time. Like I bought it. It snowed like two inches. I rode it, and then that was it. So it that one's good to go. That one needs a belt and an exhaust. And this one is blown up. Well, oops. <laughs> I don't know, maybe you can see there's a story to be told here. Good, good, not so great. Yeah, this cylinder is trash, so. And what about what about the one down here? Uh, that one's good. It has like, I don't know, like you'll be going, all of a sudden it just like loses power and then you, and then it goes again. So. Hmm. Well, anyways, we're looking for snowmobiles because. Yeah, or if you have parts for a 1998 Mountain Max 700 triple. I have a thing for triple snowmobiles. Well, I one now, but... as soon as it snows, I mean, whether the first snow is a half inch or a foot, <laughs> we will be out on the snowmobiles. Mm -hmm. Something Grant <laughs> has been um, obsessed with lately, besides snowmobiles, thinking about snowmobiles, dreaming about snowmobiles, planning our next snowmobile trip. Where can we ride? <laughs> when is it going to snow? When is it going to freeze? <laughs> is looking at this app. Um, it's put on by Steffis Auction. Um, anyways, it's a price guide app. So pretty much what he does is he searches something up, for example, a snowmobile, a four-wheeler, or things like tractors, um, implements, scrapers, Combine. combines. Now that, you know, he's got almost a thousand hours on his, so it's time to trade up. Yeah. Um, it shows you a guide for what they have sold for. So let's find, pick me out a combine here, Grant. Yes, find a good one. 2010, 11, there we go. 2018. Oh, it's even got tracks on it. Look at that. All right. So this is a real combine that Steph's Auction has sold. And it sold um, 9-20-21 for $342,000. So this is just a good resource for farmers who are in the market for new equipment or perhaps looking to sell <laughs> to sell a piece of equipment. How much is this thing worth? How much is this thing worth? This tractor is worth $591,000 fresh off the factory line. 
Anyways, so uh, check out the used equipment. You look to see what other people are selling stuff for. So if you go into your neighbor and be like, hey, I want to buy your tractor. Like, okay, how much? Well, you can see how much they're actually going for on this handy dandy app. Yeah. It's so easy to use. anyways, check out the Steffes auction price guide app. I've got a link in the description for you guys. All right, let's go get this thing hooked up. This thing has 22 hours on it at the start of today. Let's see where we're at at the end. While I'm on the root slicer, Grant is going to be on this piece of equipment. The uh, ripper, he called it. Well, maybe in a little bit. All right, you can't hear him, but he just said bummer, dude, I'm sure. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I, got it. I cannot believe that worked. It was so rusty. Oh my goodness. We're getting things taken care of over here, I guess. Nice. Ta da! Good as new. What about those ones? Ooh. That's not very good. That's some serious squish. All right, put some air in those, then we'll be good to go. Got this beast all hooked up. Makes the root slicer look so small. Uh, now it's time to take it back to the shop and grease it before we head to the field. All I can say is I am so thankful for our Milwaukee grease guns. Got. Uh, let's hear what is it? I think it's like a hundred and seventy zerks to go do. Let's do this. Typical. Grant left it out of grease. Gotta replace the tube before we can do it. leftover cookie in the cup holder so uh, while you and your husband or wife are getting out of the tractor um, I know this is a situation a lot of you are in very often you're demoing an 8rx you're stumping your field you got your husband right here uh, have your cookie warmed up so when you're checking the depth of the stocks and how everything's looking you can have a warm cookie to snack Something that I have discovered about farming and actually just like life in general is that nothing can ever be easy. If someone says something's going to be run e really easy or like have one step, they are lying to you. Like we were supposed to be going in the field by 8 a.m. this morning. It's now noon. Like it's just the, it's the process. It's not for lack of time management either. It's no, cooking. no, like we haven't stopped for lunch or a snack. Oh, are you, are you okay? I'm good, I'm good. Okay, keep going. Anyway, it, it's like, okay, get the get the road slicer out. Hook it up. Okay, well, before we can hook it up, we have to literally replace, like, change out parts on the three-point. Okay, now I have to take the jack stands off. Now I have to fuel the tractor up. Now we have to grease it. Uh, the grease tube's out of grease. And now I have to replace it again. And now the circ isn't taking grease. And now we tried it in the field, and it's not working like it's supposed to because all things need to be tightened and it's not just one little screw to tighten it you have to, you have to loosen three things and then tighten one thing and then tighten the three things back up and anyways hey laura did grease this whole thing i did grease the whole thing but it's i was like i didn't want to do that <laughs> we trade off jobs it works well i'm just saying nothing in life is ever easy or one step so if i ever make things look really easy or fast on camera Trust me, I'm doing a million things off camera. <laughs> how many, 
How many Agadagas are you tightening this grant? Somebody put way too many Agadagas on this one when they tightened it. Ooh. Oh my goodness. There we go. Definitely wasn't me. <laughs> oh man. Um, I have had a very, very bad experience with this impact right here and these little thingies. Oh man, I was, we had replaced all these last year. Or maybe it was this spring, I can't remember. And I had a wrench here and I was had the impact here and I spun the impact and my finger was holding on to the wrench and it slammed. I had a cut and bruises on all four fingers for literally weeks after that. Bad memories. All right, I think we finally got things set how we like it. I'm going about 10 miles an hour right now. I would like to say this tractor handles like ruts in the field um, and draws and stuff like a champ. Like I don't have to slow down. I don't even feel it. It is incredible. Um, everything seems to be working properly. Uh, so if you aren't familiar with what I'm doing, I'm root slicing. People make fun of the way I say root, 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 sli root slicing. That's so weird. I'm root slicing right now. <laughs> Blame the Nebraskan accent, I guess. It's the Midwest. So what this machine is doing is just taking the stock and the root and ripping it up out of the ground and leaving us with a nice clean spot to plant in the springtime. So what I'm really watching for behind me is uh, there's a lot of trash in the field. So all the stuff that got uh, thrown out of the back of the combine, I don't want that to fall up in any of the discs because the discs are really close together. So I'm just making sure nothing gets clogged up behind me. Other than that, very simple job. And I would like to say, so this tractor, the NRX, has this nice screen in here. And I plug my phone in and it has like Apple CarPlay in it. And the sound system is amazing. So I can't play copyrighted music for you guys. But trust me, the sound system is great. I know it's difficult to see the field's personality, aka all of the grooves it has but we just went through a deep draw just right there. Oh my goodness, <laughs> pulled like a champ. <laughs> In hindsight, I maybe should have slowed up a little bit for that one, but we're fine. This tractor goes through draws and handles the uh, personality of this field so well. It's incredible. I've been going through draws and like this one right up here, and it's hard to tell with the video, but the cab is so smooth. I mean, the tracks just eat it up like it's nothing. It's so impressive. Nothing but open sky ahead. I shut the tractor off because I thought maybe you could hear it. It is so windy outside. So windy outside. We have to venture out there because the pivot is out of the way. So we need to stop it. Pivot is nicely out of the way. Now, just take these off because if you don't, it is almost guaranteed that the battery will be dead next time you come back. I survived the wind. I am running the John Deere guidance, but I do just continually look down the row and make sure that the silver spot is lined up right with the middle of the row. I just finished root slicing the headlands of the end rows. Look at that beautiful sunset we have. Now it is time to fold up here and then move on to the next field. That's Grant in the ripper doing the end rows. And I'm root slicing away. Could be a long night. Okay, I know it's really bright, but somewhere behind all those lights is the 8RX and the Stumper Rut Slicer. I'm now in the Ripper, and I we traded spots. So Grant finished ripping this field, um, and I got a good start on the stumping. So now I am going to take the Ripper home because we're done with it, and then I am going to make a supper and bring it out back to the field while Grant continues rut slicing. All right, made it out to the field. We got our steak, green beans, mashed potatoes, and garlic bread. And two forks. And <laughs> two forks. Bon appetit. Metal forks in the tractor, that's a luxury. It is. 
It I is. don't have my I usually high class a, a plastic one right there because you never know when you can get a hot meal around here. But there not you go. this tractor, yeah. We'll keep metal ones in the fancy tractor. Fancy, I like it. <laughs> and there we go. She's folded up. Uh, Grant, could you give me could you give me an hour count on the tractor, please? Thirty hours. Thirty point eight. Okay, if I remember right, we were at exactly twenty two when the day started. So being that we really started at noon, it's a pretty good day. It was a pretty good day. Very happy. So wait, so how many acres did we do? Two hundred acres. acres. Not bad. So two hundred acres root sliced or stumped, stock pulled, whatever, um, and then ripped most end rows that we that we needed to. I guess. Well, out of one, two, three, four, five fields. Five fields. The end rows or headlands are ripped. I would call that a very good day. And Dad put on some hydros today. Oh wow! First of the year. First of the year. All right. Got all tractors rolling today. We had all the tractors rolling today. This might mean that we need another tractor. Maybe we should buy an 8RX. Mm -hmm. Speaking of 8RXs, which is what we're driving home now, I would like to say thank you so much to Acres Equipment because that who that's who's getting us this extended demo type thing. I think this is our last week with it. Um, if you've watched to the end of the video, you deserve to know. Grant and I, we've been married for almost exactly a year now, and our original honeymoon, Hawaii, got canceled because of coronavirus. And so we're finally going next week. We get the honeymoon that we never had, so we're headed to Hawaii. So I think we have to return the tractor before we head off, yeah, off the mainland. Somebody land. probably wants to buy it. Somebody probably wants to buy the tractor by now. The Laura Farms edition. The Laura Farms edition Interacts tractor. It probably, like, it probably actually degrades the value. Sorry. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. 10 grand more. Mostly because I've been driving. Oh That's my cool. goodness! I got my dirty boots on the floor. You're lucky that you've I, already had supper tonight. She hasn't noticed the mud that I got on it earlier. I didn't do that. Oh my goodness. <laughs> we'll see you guys next time. <laughs>